opening arguments officially begin today in former President Trump's second impeachment trial. Now, yesterday, House impeachment managers drew a direct line between the ex-president. words and the violence on January 6th. While Mr. Trump's defense attorneys were met Thank with bipartisan confusion is the word people are using today. Nancy Cordes was on Capitol Hill during the riot. She's back there now with more on this story. Nancy, good morning. It was quite a day yesterday. It really was, Gail. And today what we are going to see is the House impeachment managers lay out their case that this building may have been attacked a month ago, and you can still see that it's heavily gar guarded today. But they are going to argue that actually the president's role goes back much farther than that to when he first began claiming that this election was rigged, that it was stolen, that it was fraudulent. They are going to say that it wasn't simply an errant comment here or there, but a campaign of lies that led to an uprising from his followers that left a half a dozen people dead. Presidents can't inflame insurrection in their final weeks and then walk away like nothing happened. The House managers previewed their the argument way. yesterday. We are going to the Capitol where our problems are. It's that direction. Using a powerful video that walked senators through the assault on their own chamber. We fight. We fight like hell. Along with Mr. Trump's actions before and after. We love you. You're very special. He celebrated their cause. He validated their attack. He told them, remember this day forever. Mr. Trump's defense got off on the wrong foot. We changed what we were going to do on account that we thought that the House manager's presentation was well done. Lawyer Bruce Castor, who specializes in medical malpractice and personal injury cases, kept diverging from the issue at hand. Nebraska, you're going to hear, is quite a judicial thinking place. We still know what records are, right? On the thing you put the needle down on and you play it. Senators called it rambling, a rocky start, even inappropriate. And those were just the Republicans. President Trump's team were disorganized. They did everything they could but to talk about the question at hand. Still, just one of them, Louisiana's Bill Cassidy, changed his position, joining five other Republicans who voted with Democrats to let the trial go forward. The House managers made a compelling, cogent case and the president's team did not. Leading the House manager's case is Maryland's Jamie Raskin, who described that day Next in personal terms, the, the risk to his daughter and son-in-law you know who said? were with him at the Capitol. She said, Dad, I don't want to come back to the Capitol. <laughs> of all the terrible, brutal things I saw and I heard on that day, And since then, that one hit me the hardest. The House impeachment managers will have their first of two eight-hour days today to lay out their case, and then the defense gets the same amount of time, followed by questioning from the senators themselves, who remember all too well what happened here a little over a month ago because they were among the targets, Tony. Nancy, thank you very much.